We left them in that beautiful coat. Oh, my God. Let's have you out of that car, shall we? Those lovely boots. Back on again, please. The only question left to be decided is where the police shall find you. Of course, you could be lying sprawled over the desk in the study, like countless colonels in countless studies, or propped up in the log basket like a rag doll. Which do you fancy, early Agatha Christie or vintage SS Van Dyne? For Christ's sake, Andrew, you're talking of a murder! Of killing a real man! Don't you understand? I shouldn't use a gun at all. Perhaps best of all, a real 1930s murder weapon, the Vashi Niblick. I've got one in my golf bag. Nibbling. I think you'd be found in the fireplace in a fair old mess. The body lay on its back, its limbs grotesquely splayed like a broken puppet. The whole head had been pulped as if by some supernatural force. My God, breathe the Inspector Blanchin. Thompson, you'd better get a top pulling. Excuse me, sir, but was all this violence strictly necessary? I'm sorry, Inspector. I'm afraid I lost control of myself when I saw him handling my wife's intimate garments. Oh, it's too bloody elaborate. I tell you what, I think the scene the police find is simply this. After the fight, you flee up the stairs back to your ladder again. Go on, my love, flee. Here we go. Here we go. catch you on the landing and in the renewed struggle I shoot you nothing succeeds like simplicity don't you agree Milo on the morning of his execution King Charles the first put on two shirts if I tremble with the cold he said my enemies will say it was from fear I will not expose myself to such reproaches we must also attempt this anglo-saxon dignity as you mount the steps to the scaffold Look, I can't give anything back, can I? I mean, if it hadn't been me, it would have been somebody else. Please, I'll go away. You won't ever hear me no more. Why, Andrew? Why me? Don't snivel. I must know why! I'm amazed you have to ask. I hate you. I hate your smarmy good looks and your easy manner. I'll bet you're easy in a ski lodge, easy on a yacht, easy on a beach. I knew you'd wear a gold charm round your neck. And I'll bet your chest is hairy and in summer matted with sun oil. Above all, I hate you because you're a culling, blue-eyed wop. Not one of me. A creeping, hairdressing seducer of silly women. A jumped-up pantry boy who doesn't know his place. Did you really believe I'd give up my wife and jewelry to you? That I'd make myself that ridiculous? Why not? You're not in love with her? Whether I love her or not, I found her. I've kept her. She represents me. Once, she was in love with me. And now she's in love with me. And that's what you can't forgive, isn't it? And after me, there'll be others. 
You're going to kill them too? You're mad! You're a bloody madman! You are a young man, dressed as a clown, about to be murdered. Put the mask on, Maya. No. no. Put it on. No, no please. <laughs> Put it on. Finally, at your moment of dying, you are yourself. A snivelling dago clown. Farewell, Punchinello. Goodbye now and amen Here's hoping we meet now and then It was great fun, but it was just one of those things